at a place called Raspberry Creek, I think it's called. Yes. And we're going to go uh, take another short hike to see another glacier. It's probably going to be the last one we're going to see. Uh, probably the last really touristy spot that we're going to go to. Well, may, probably not. We're going to probably look at like another blowhole, yeah. maybe, and some penguins. And I'm sure that lots of people are going to want to see penguins, including me. So anyways, we drove up a windy, twisty, narrow, bumpy gravel road. It was beautiful, though. But it was a beautiful Gorgeous. drive all the way out here. Yeah, it was. One of our best drives yet. Yeah, it probably, really, yeah. It was really pretty. So it was really pretty. Lots of snow on the mountains you can see behind us. Uh, not too many people here. I think um, I'm a little bit surprised to see as many people as I see, but there aren't too many people here probably because it's such a long drive on a long, twisty, bumpy, dirty, narrow gravel road. So we got through that and uh, boy, it's just the, the, the snow on the mountains is beautiful. I don't know if you can see all the way around, but we're gonna sort of pan around and show you, show me. Are some areas that had the river look like it was a deep purple and a really brilliant blue color so I'm gonna try to get some pictures of that as well maybe on the way out so we're headed out yep here we go okay we made it to uh, a suspension bridge that we thought we'd show you we just happened upon it the water underneath is like really like um, green blue yeah, I guess you could call it like gorgeous. a jade blue, maybe. Not sure. But we're still on the Rob Roy Glacier Track. Oh, sorry, I'm pointing. You can't see. Uh, the Rob Roy Glacier Track. There's a suspension bridge. Don't know if you can see the water. Uh, but it's really clear. And I think that it's there's like green rock under it, which makes the water appear to be like this turquoise color. It's really beautiful. I bet when the sun hits it, it's really something magnificent. So, the path up here was pretty crazy. Uh, we actually had to walk on the grass. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, strange. I don't know, maybe you can show them. Here. Yeah, here, I don't know if I can. I'll turn it around. And... So the grass, I don't know. It's, it's just a different texture. It's all frozen. snow country and I haven't quite experienced anything like this. It's like frozen grass but it gives you just enough stability where if you're on the track you just go sliding. Yeah so. you don't want to go down there. Here let me show you. Down there. That is like just wicked slick. As you can see you gotta walk on grass. Because if you don't, it's going to be a good ride. And we're a long ways away from any hospital. Another cool suspension bridge. It is slick too. Sorry for all the wind noise. A little windy here, it's cold too. All right. 
You can see some of the green rock up there. So there it is. We're gonna get back to hiking. Because it says it's like a hour and a half to the upper lookout. And if it's as icy as this, it'll probably be more like two hour. or three maybe <laughs> even, yeah. to the Rob Roy uh, Glacier Overlook which is way up there and it isn't so spectacular from here but it was a beautiful hike yeah uh, I think it's covered with snow a little bit it snowed I think last night so yeah. uh, that probably affects being able to see all the glacierness you can see they're kind of around the curves but uh, this was definitely a favorable hike up here it was really it was a nice hike yeah so uh, um, gorgeous stream with really blue water along the way it's probably a little more difficult for the average person. Probably moderate. I, I think uh, you probably don't want to take kids under like eight years old. Maybe you do. Depends on the kid. But kids eight and under probably not. Eight and over probably enjoy it. Um, it was a little bit of an exerting hike, but not bad. Uh, some slippery spots during this time of year. But other than that, not too bad. We got other customers coming, so we're going to bail. Uh, anything to say? No. It was just a really nice hike. Anyway. is a brisk cold morning it's probably about 32 degrees outside it was cold last night but i wanted to uh get up and show you our campsite um it's a really great campsite it's probably the best one we've been at so far and it's even better because it's free uh it was not listed as free on the camper mate i'll talk more about the camper mate some other time uh so here we are at the at our campsite it's really cold There's only one other van here overnight um, a couple of kids enjoying their lives as well but this is where we're at uh woke up to a brisk morning and it's actually pretty cold here all night but um even yesterday it was cold but not too bad but we walked up in there yesterday and you can really see a nice outline of the mountains here's our nice cold van uh, our heater is broken inside of it. That's fun, but we brought enough gear to stay warm. So it's been pretty nice. We're going to head out of here early this morning. We're heading to uh, Roy's Peak. Um, pretty good climb. We're going to probably need our crampons today. We'll see. We'll get some video when we get there. I'll talk more about that as well. I wanted to show you. Here's where we're at. Autumn's staying nice and warm in the van. <laughs> I don't blame her. And yeah, here you go. Got our friendly cows over here. They haven't made any noise all night. They've been very, very uh, good about that. All right, I'm heading back in. As you can see, I'm wearing all black. Um, I guess I'm trying to support the local rugby team. If you're not from New Zealand, and you understand, they have the all black. That's the name of the rugby team, and they're pretty proud of it. So. I am all black. I don't even know if there's a game today. And I didn't do this on purpose, I just threw stuff on. Heading back in the warmth. Talk to you later.